Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. We have 2 to the power x plus y equals 3, and 3 to the power x minus y equals 4, and we're going to find the value of x squared minus y squared. I'll be presenting two methods, and the first one will be a little bit more painful. So let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to do the following. I'll be taking the natural log of both sides in both of these equations. Let's start with the first one. ln stands for the natural log. So ln 2 to the power x plus y equals ln 3. And then we're going to move the x plus y to the front using properties of logs. That gives us x plus y times ln 2 equals ln 3. And from here, we can find the value of x plus y as ln 3 over ln 2. Now, similarly, if we ln both sides here, we get the same thing, pretty much. We can kind of do this, move this to the front, and then divide both sides by that, divide both sides by ln 3, and here's what it comes down to. x minus y can be written as ln 4 over ln 3. Similarly, we can do the same thing. Okay, now we got ourselves a nice system, didn't we? We can go out and solve the system for x and y. And remember, our goal is to evaluate x squared minus y squared. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's use elimination. So add these equations up. The y cancels out. We get 2x equals ln3 over ln2 plus ln4 over ln3. By the way, ln4 can be written as ln2 squared, which turns into 2 ln2. So we can kind of write it that way. Let's do it here. Replace ln4 with 2 ln2. And then let's make a common denominator. To make a common denominator, we kind of have to crisscross. So this gives us ln3 times itself squared plus 2 times ln2 squared divided by ln2 times ln3. And if we divide both sides by 2 to get the value of x, then we're going to get this divided by 2 times ln2 ln3. So we can go ahead and get rid of this 2 right here and divide both sides by 2. Okay, so that is the value of x. And similarly, we can find the value of y or by substitution. But I don't think you want to substitute this value into any, any of these equations. That's going to be cumbersome. Instead, let's go ahead and subtract these equations. Because if you subtract, then you're going to get the value of 2y, and then you can divide by 2 similarly, right? So 2y is going to give us, if we subtract those two equations, ln3 over ln2, so pretty much what we got here, but with a minus sign, right? Pretty much the same thing with a minus sign. And then making a common denominator, we get 2y equals ln3 squared minus 2 times ln2 squared divided by ln2 times ln3. And similarly, we can divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half. So to bring the 2 over here, and we can kind of get rid of this right here. That's the value of y. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. Let me go ahead and carry this over here so they can be together. Now, so we got the values of x and y, and our goal is to get x squared minus y squared. So how do we get that? I mean, the obvious answer is square both of these and subtract, right? So to make the squaring and subtraction a little easier, let's go ahead and call this a and let's call this b. So we kind of have a, a plus b and a minus b in the numerators, and the denominators are the same. So we, when we subtract, we're going to subtract something like this, a plus b, you know, over the denominator. Let's just call this whole thing capital D, squared minus a minus b over d squared. And that can be simplified a great deal. 
First of all, there is a well-known identity, which is commonly used, by the way, if you're dealing with algebra. This is very, very helpful, especially with expressions like x plus 1 over x, x minus 1 over x. This is actually a really, really good identity. So it's uh, worth knowing. Anyways, so when we subtract these two expressions, we get 4ab because a squared plus b squared cancels out and we end up with 4ab. So we got 4ab over d squared. Let's go ahead and write it as is. 4ab would be 4 times a, which is ln 3 squared, times b, b would be 2 times ln 2 squared. And then denominator squared, since we have y, um, since we have 2 ln 2 times ln 3 at the bottom, this is our denominator. And then we're going to square it, so it's going to be 4 times ln, 4 times ln 2 squared multiplied by ln 3 squared. All right, so 4 cancels out, and then ln 3 squared cancels out, ln 2 squared cancels out, and we end up with a 2 at the end. So we get x squared minus y squared equals 2 as the answer, and what were we looking for? We were looking for x squared minus y squared. Great, so by using logarithms, we can find the answer. But the answer is fairly simple, so it kind of tells us there must be another way to do it. Obviously, I know some people are going to complain about it, and they're going to say hey, nobody is going to use the first method, but it's still a method. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, which is much nicer. But you also learn something from the first method, at least using the properties of logs. So the second method is as follows, but let me rewrite the original problem first. 2 to the power x plus y is equal to 3, and 3 to the power x minus y is equal to 4, and we're looking for x squared minus y squared. So here's what I'm going to do. Since 3 is equal to 2 to the power x plus y, I'm going to go ahead and substitute that here. So we have 3 to the power x minus y, and 3 can be replaced with 2 to the power x plus y, and then raise it to the power x minus y, and 3 to the power x minus y, as you know, is equal to 4. Now forget about this and focus on the 2. Now we raise a power to another power, so we're going to multiply the exponents. And as you know, or you should know, x plus y times x minus y is x squared minus y squared. You see, this kind of tells you how important it is to be aware of this formula, difference of two squares. And 4 can be written as 2 squared. And from here we get something super duper nice, x squared minus y squared equals 2. And that's what we were looking for, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.